Hello students, here we have a basic question of mole concept in which we have to find the weight of residue, residue means leftovers produced by heating 10 grams of calcium carbonate. To solve this kind of question, we use method of stoichiometry. So for stoichiometry, this method, we should know the balance chemical equation, which is calcium carbonate solid produced calcium oxide solid on heating and CO2 as gas. So we have to find the residue which is a solid part. Here we have solid as calcium oxide. So we have to find the weight of calcium oxide in this question. First of all we have to balance this equation. As we can see this equation is already a balanced equation. We have calcium as 1 on both the side, 1 carbon on both sides and 3 oxygen on both sides, 1 and 2, so 3 oxygens. So the coefficients of calcium oxide is 1, calcium carbonate is 1, calcium oxide is 1 and CO2 is 1. So from stoichiometry we have 1 mole calcium carbonate gives 1 mole of calcium oxide on heating right so in this question there are 10 grams of calcium carbonate so if we have moles of calcium carbonate then we can have moles of calcium oxide so to get the number of moles of calcium carbonate first of all we have to calculate the molar mass of calcium carbonate so we have calcium atomic weight of calcium as 40 Atomic weight of carbon as 12. Now the oxygen for oxygen at 16. Aim. So the molar mass of calcium carbonate is 40 plus 12 plus 3 times of 16 because there are 3 oxygens. So by calculating this, we have 100. Aim or we can say 100 grams per mole okay so the number of moles we use to find number of moles we use given weight of substance upon molar mass divided by molar mass okay this is a very basic formula mole concept so we have 10 grams of calcium carbonate and the molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100 grams per mole. So by solving this we have 1 by 10 or 0 0.1 moles of calcium carbonate. So from the balanced chemical equation we have CaCO3 as solid which converts into or gives calcium oxide solid and CO2 as gas. Here we have one mole by from stoichiometry. One mole of this gives one mole of calcium oxide. So if we have 0 0.1 mole of this 0 0.1 mole of calcium carbonate, we have 0 0.1 moles of calcium oxide. This is from the unitary method. So 1 say 1 milega, so 0 0.1 say 0 0.1. Okay, we get 1 by 1, so 0 0.1 say 0 0.1. Okay, now we have to calculate, we have to find the weight of residue. So to convert this moles into weight, we use weight is equal to number of moles into molar mass. So weight is equal to number of moles as 0 0.1. We have already calculated this. Now the molar mass of calcium oxide. What is the molar mass of calcium oxide? Similar method as for calcium carbonate, similarly for calcium oxide. We have 40 atomic weight of calcium and the 16 for oxygen. So we have 56 grams per mole. So we put 56 in this equation. By solving this, we get 5.6 grams. 
okay so here we have the residue so the weight of residue is equal to 5.6 grams okay in this second question we have to find the weight of copper deposited at the cathode when 9.65 ampere of current is passed through copper sulfate solution for 1 minute to solve this kind of question we use a very basic method which is charge on 1 mole electron which use charge on 1 mole electrons so in this question we have copper sulfate solution as we know sulfate has minus 2 charge so the copper has plus 2 charge so to deposit copper according to this equation to deposit 1 mole of copper or 1 mole of copper is also equals to 63.5 grams which is molar mass of copper we use 2 moles of electrons ok now the charge on the charge on 1 mole electron which is a very basic information 1 mole electron is 96500 coulombs ok so first of all we have to convert this current and time into charge so to solve this we first must convert this time which is 1 minute 40 seconds into seconds so for 1 minutes we have 60 seconds plus 40 seconds so the total is 100 seconds now according to physics we have current is equals to charge upon time so charge is equals to current multiplied by time so here we have current as 9.65 ampere and time as 100 seconds so we have 965 coulomb as charge as we know from this equation we have to flow 2 moles of electron to deposit 63.5 grams of copper ok or 2 moles of electron that means one charge on 1 mole electron is 96500 so charge on 2 mole electrons is equals to 2 times of 96500 right 96500 coulomb ok so if we flow 2 multiplied by 96500 coulomb charge of electron coulomb charge then we get 63.5 grams of copper by flowing 1 coulomb of charge we have 63.5 divided by 2 times of 96500 here we have 96565 coulomb as charge total charge so by flowing 965 coulomb charge we have 63.5 divided by 2 multiplied by 96500 multiplied by 965 by solving this we have 100 which is equals to 63.5 divided by 2 into 100 okay in grams by solving this we can have 6331 Point seven five upon 100 grams okay which is equals to 0 0.3175 grams hope you get